In this lecture, we are now going to use the student class that we created in the last lecture. So I'm going to open passform.php, which is a file where we are going to be processing the form that is submitted from index. And then right here, I'm going to say use app slash student. And then down here, I'm just going to do basic form processing. So if you're going to be doing something like this for an actual application, then you need to actually do validation and then do all the other things that you usually do when processing a form. But I'm just going to go straight, assuming that everything is correct. So I'm going to say if is set post of PHP. So I'm just going to use this as my basic check. So if in the form we have a post of PHP, then I'm going to grab the name of the student. So that will be equal to the post of name. And then the ID of the student, that will be equal to post of ID. And then we're going to grab for the five subjects. So we know that the five subjects, first one is PHP. So that will be equal to post of PHP. And then we know that we have another one called Java. That will be equal to post of Java. And then we have another one called Node.js. That will be equal to post of node.js. I'm just going to double check to see how I actually named the form control. So for node.js, we use the small j to name it. And then we have Ruby and C++. And here we have Ruby, post of Ruby. And then we have C++. It's going to be equal to post of C++. So after collecting all of the form data, what we now want to do is to create a student object. So we're going to say student, it's going to be equal to new student. And then we are going to pass in the required parameter. The first one is going to be the ID, which should be an integer. And then the second one is going to be a string, which is going to be the name. So right here, you can say int to cast it directly to an integer. And then the next thing that we're going to do is say student set mark. So when we call student set mark, we are going to now pass it all of the different subject that the student took. So what we are essentially passing in here will be the mark that we we'll get from the form. So for PHP, what did the student score? So the next one we are going to set to Java. And then the next one we are going to set to Ruby. So I'm just going to try to follow this form as closely as I can. Node.js and then Ruby and then C++. So that's all we need to do for processing the form. What we now want to do is come inside of form.php and then where we have this table here that displays the result, we only want to display this section if there is actually a student object created. So I'm going to grab all of this. And then I'm going to wrap it inside of an if statement. So we're going to say PHP if is set student. So if we have a variable that is set called student and student is an instance of the student class, instance of student. So this way we are ensuring that whatever we are getting here is actually a student object. So if this is true, we want to do all of the operations that we did before, which is to actually display the result here. So right here, we are going to have another PHP script tag. And then here say, and if. Then inside of here, I can now paste all of that. And then here we can say student get ID. And then next we want to actually display the name. You can say student get name. Here we can echo the variable Java. Here we can echo the variable C++. You can echo the variable Ruby. Here we can echo the variable Node.js. And then here we can actually get the total score. Student get total score. That will be student average score. Then next we can display the grade. Student grade. Then next we can display the final result. So that will be student, final result. Then finally we can display the remark. So let's do a reload on the browser. Okay, so right now we can no longer see 
the result path. So what we now need to do is to create a new student, pass in the result, click on the compute button. If everything works correctly, we should now see the result displayed below here. PHP 67, Java 78, Node.js 98, Ruby 59, C++ 77. Right here we get the student ID, the student name, what is called for each of the subject. Then we get the total score, which is 379. We get the average score, which is 75.8. The grade is A. And then the final result is passed and the remark is excellent. So this does exactly what we want it to do. For now, we're going to be ending this series here and then move on to another series where we really go deeper into object-oriented programming in PHP. And probably we're going to be building a framework. It's going to be a mini framework that you can actually use to bootstrap most of the projects that you'll be creating in PHP. From time to time, I will still come back to actually update the content of this particular course. There are more things that we can actually cover in object-oriented programming, most of which are going to learn when we get to the next course. And for those particular aspects that I won't be covering in the next course, I will still come here from time to time and just record one or two videos to explain some concepts. All right, thank you for viewing. Hope you have enjoyed this series. Do not forget to actually leave your comment below and tell me what you think about the, all of this series. Thank you.